welcome to Mojas Institute of Technology. For all your IT trainings, you can reach us at www.mjit.in. You can write an email in further at mjit.in or you can WhatsApp us double eight two five four one zero six double zero. For all your automation needs, we are there to help you out. Okay. Uh, today's session, uh, today's video, we are going to, going to discuss about a Linux command. Today, I am going to be discuss about cp command, which is used to copy of files, files and directories in your Linux environment or your Linux uh, or your Unix operating system environment. Okay, so. We are going to be uh, discuss more about the CPU command. So CPU com CPU command is already as I said earlier. You are going to be copy a file in a directory. So uh, there are uh, in 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 Unix or Linux environment we are used to it the CLI always. So we should have a careful uh, while using the uh, while using. CPU command, not only CPU command, CP command, all the commands, copy command, what are the commands? We have to be very careful while using the command line. Okay. Um, so, what are the, how to achieve a copy of file? What are the needs are there to perform a copy command? At least, bare minimum, you need uh, two files. What are the two files you needed? One is your source file, another one is your destination file these two files are the mandatory files so to perform a cpu command syntax for cpu command is cp option that is not mandatory you can use uh, or you are not going to be used is up to you based on your need and then source file and then destination file this is the syntax for cp command for example Below I have mentioned cp mjit.txt is my source file courses.txt is my destination file okay next we are going to be discuss about cp option what are the options are available in uh, cp command let's move to the uh, next slide so what are the options available uh, cp command there are lot of options are available in cp command here i have mentioned few options okay and what it going to be perform in the action one by one i am going to be explain you cp i which is going to be interactive to your source file to your destination file okay cp b is to back up your file cp f forcefully it going to be some uh, it going to be copy a file sometimes you you don't have an right permission at the time we are forcefully copying a file uh, a file uh, those scenarios we are going to be use cp f cp f r is recursively going to be copy of files for example in a directory there are a b c d like there are five files are there you no need to uh, copy each uh, each and every file one by one you can use cp r source file and then your uh, source directory and your destination directory so it will be going to be copy our entire what are the files available inside the directory it going to be copy in your destination location and you can use uh, you can create uh, soft links as well so links file links as well cp s you can create a soft link cp l to create a hard link cp p to preserve your file what it going to be prefer, uh, preserve it going to be pre uh, preserve your file permissions so when you're using a cp p command you should careful you should have a root access then you can try with cp p preserve command cp star or asterisk which is the wildcard for a, um for you need to copy a entire uh, directory to uh, another directory then we are use cp 
sorry cp um, your source file name asterisk or star this command new destination command we are going to be use okay so let's move to our hands-on okay clear I like to demonstrate a few uh, few uh, CP command okay I like to change my uh, destination <laughs> so this directory I have kept some files let me list so this is the files I have so I like to copy a file mjit.txt to uh, some other file so okay Let me clear cp is the command mjit.txt is my file source file I like to give my destination file courses.txt is my destination file let me enter this file so cp you can I'll repeat cp is my command mjit is my source file courses.txt is my destination file yes I have copied successfully so let me validate what are the contents are there in mjit it.txt so you can see these are the contents available in my mjit.txt file and then let me validate whether cat course.txt file has copied the same content file yes it has been copied successfully so this is how you can copy your file okay so this is how you can copy a file okay well, let's let me see what are all available here so how to copy a multiple files to a particular directory so I like to let me validate what are the files available in backup directory so nothing is there I'll let me come back okay let me copy a multiple file cp a dot txt which is available b dot txt okay courses the txt where it needs to be copy my destination file backup backup directory okay let us validate backup see all three files got copied a.txt b.txt courses.txt see which are the source file I have mentioned here these three files has been copied to my backup directory okay this how you can copy multiple files to your directory okay clear so next I'm going to I like to use some options to uh, validate how the behavior of the CP command okay CP so which are the command uh, iPhone I like to interactive so I'll use CP iPhone M source file MJ did so sorry I'm into backup directory I have to come back to my original directory as yes. CP let me clear this to more visible CP iPhone I for interactive what is my source file mjit.txt and then what is my 
destination file courses dot let me see what it gonna be happen it if you go use iPhone I I interactive then which means already some content is there if you want to override this file this content of this file just press S yes it, it has been overwritten now so when you have uh, using that uh, configuration file you are not sure about the, what are the content in that file always recommended to use iPhone I if it is the content is not there it not going to be uh, throw uh, throw this text forward in the command prompt overwrite the txt if if the content the content is there in that uh, destination file it going to be you accidentally you should not make any mistake so that is the reason always recommended to copy before copying a file uh, use i okay <coughs> sorry clear next <coughs> i like to use verbs so i like to use cp iphone i interactive v for verbs what is my source file mjit dot txt the file which I am going to be create here I am going to give a new destination file course 1 dot txt okay so you get a message that you have successfully copied the source file mjit to txt to courses dot txt okay this is done by purpose okay i'll repeat the same cp if and v the source file mjit dot txt courses to dot txt you can see here you got the message and here you can see the first time the file is going to be created that is the reason the interactive not given any overwritten message okay let us validate whether both the file has been successfully copied yes course one which are the file we have tried course to write course to let's cat content to check the content of the file cat not txt see I have copied content of this file okay clear yes if you have any doubts please do post to com command box section next option I'm going to be a uh, copy of files recursively okay CD L test directory ls there are three files are there in this directory I want to copy all this files to test one directory okay what I'll do CP R which is going to be recursively copy all the files what is the source uh, directory test and then what is the destination directory test one okay sorry I'm into test directory I have to come out of this then I have to try see clear cp hyphen r test directory which is the my destination location test tz no test 1 ok cd test 1 ls you can see the entire directory has been copied including these files ok this how you can make use of 
hyphen r so this entire directory is copied over there and gradually in include your all these files has been copied okay clear let me come out of this clear clear the screen okay. ls i finally i like to create next i like to create mm. so let me uh, i like to archive or a backup uh, course one course two uh, courses dot txt to my backup directory okay for that cp iphone a course as courses one courses i missed out on to dot txt where i need to be copy in my backup directory so it's going to be ask forward write these files yes so all the files which is going to be copy over there so cd backup you can see course one already existing files are there text eight and then these are the files is copied over there okay clear cd come back to my directory so how to create a soft link for mbit.txt file using cp command okay cp hyphen s is the option to create a soft link mjit dot in dot txt what is the link file i'm going to be mention mjit 01 dot txt i'll go to list and check you can see here I have created a soft link file using cp command. Okay. You can create a hard link and much more you can do you are using cp command and you have you, you can explore with man cp command. So you can go through this cp copy of files and directories so there are lot of options are there a to archive as a preserve and then backup content forcefully how to give a forcefully uh, copy of file and then interactive preserve deprecate uh, recursive capital r explore this capital r and uh, capital uh, sorry small r and then uh, you have symbolic links to create a link files instead of and then your target directory capital T update how to update your existing file these things you can try if you have any doubts on this you can uh, put me in my comment, comment box I am help you on the same so thanks for watching um, Thanks for watching me. If you have any uh, queries, you can put into the comment box. I'll help you on the same. Thank you.